Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to do a continuation on my kitchen magic tips that I did I think last month. Uh, I had a lot of comments from people asking for some more tips and so I have a handful more to share with you. All of these are based more so in folklore than herbs. The last one I shared was mainly plant-based kind of magic and I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and give something that's a little bit more strictly hearthcraft. A lot of a herbal-based practice relies upon, well, the home, and so hearthcraft melds into it really beautifully. And I figured I could kind of make this into a series of sharing some more of the hearthcraft of my home, as there's a lot of magical placements in here that I don't believe I've really talked about. So that's the goal of this video, to begin sharing some of those so that you can kind of infuse magic into your home, just baseline. But before we get into it, this video is sponsored. Today's video is sponsored by Caraway. Caraway is a 100% non-toxic ceramic coated cookware, and it's a much safer alternative to traditional non-stick cookware. Are you gonna help? I personally was really excited when I first got offered this sponsorship. I am a big fan of cooking. I always make dinner, and obviously if you've watched this channel before, I spend a lot of time, well, just in the kitchen. And so getting offered such a beautiful and nice cookware set felt really special. Looks pretty special. Grim, do you see this? They are really nice. It's super lightweight. I'm really impressed. I chose the green cookware. I think it's really beautiful and complements uh, my kitchen and other cookware items I have. And I even get to put them on display, which I really enjoy. Each pot and pan comes with these cookware organizers, which you just put your pot right into and it will sit comfortably and upright wherever you put it. I personally have most of my pots and pans from Caraway on display up on top of my fridge, both because it's easy to access them and because they're really pretty. And it also comes with a pot lid holder, which I have displayed on the wall and I think it is just beautiful. The convenience of the organizers has been really nice. I am no longer uh, reaching down deep into my lower cabinets to pull out pots and pans and they add such a nice pop of color to the space. I've been cooking with Caraway's cookware for about a week now and I've really been enjoying it. The nonstick is amazing. I haven't had any of the issues I normally do with everything getting stuck. I normally cook with some pretty cheap pots and pans and there is a very big difference. It's made the experience far more enjoyable. I don't burn anything. I don't get anything stuck or left over. I feel like I'm wasting far less food this way. And they are far easier to clean than my other pots and pans. Plus, my food tastes a lot better. I didn't realize the metallic taste that was getting left over from my other pans. Everything just kind of had a little bit of a metal flavor. But with these, it's just the food and it's amazing how much of a difference there is in flavor with the cookware you choose. I wouldn't have even realized that. I personally have been using the pans the most. I cook a lot of potatoes in this household and uh, this is a very good place to get a good hash brown fry and I just really enjoy it. So if you're somebody who's in the kitchen all the time like I am and kind of just want to upgrade your cookware, I would really recommend Caraway to you. Plus, for a limited time, you can get 10% off by clicking my link down below. So thank you so much to Caraway for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it, shall we? Alrighty, welcome back. So this video is going to be more focused on the kitchen and hearthcraft for the kitchen, but I will gladly share more um, all around the home kind of crafts. And one of these things does actually tie into the bedroom as well, interestingly enough. So the first magical hearthcraft folklore thingamajig is that sieves, sifters, and colanders can be hung as protective charms. This is one of my all time favorite simple kitcheny charm because Number one, they're beautiful and you can collect some really unique ones. And they also are a really good way of just adding that energy to your space. I personally find that it is an important space to protect. You wanna keep your food safe and the energy good. And I found that because of how colanders and sieves and sifters work as they diffuse the energy through the holes that they have, 
that they actually are really good for keeping in spaces where you have conflict. It helps to kind of clear that away pretty quickly. And you can also use them to clear away nightmares or kind of help diffuse that uh, negative energy. So hanging one up by the bed or keeping one near you while you sleep if you're having some trouble with nightmares can also be a fun little trick to help. Additionally, and this kind of starts to bleed into the second tip, choosing certain metals for your colanders can be of great benefit. You may have noticed in my home or my apartment that I have a lot of copper. Copper is a wonderful metal to keep around and I love it in the kitchen because I found that it has a really kind of loving energy and it helps to kind of gift that and infuse that into the area. Growing up, food was a big way my family showed love and care and so keeping things to uphold that throughout my life is important to me. And so you can have copper colanders that work to diffuse that energy and kind of work some love and good vibes into it. Now, all of my copper is vintage. Everything that I have collected through the years, I have found at thrift stores and flea markets and or online sales. Uh, but it can be a little pricey otherwise, but I have taken many years to collect all of these but it is um, one of my favorite metals and things to keep in my space. And I would recommend it to you if you wanna kind of bring that energy into your home. I do personally really love them for cooking and uh, it just infuses some really nice, nice feelings into the space. And then finally, one of the oldest tricks in the books for protection comes in handy with iron. So iron trivets, they're used for putting hot things on. So you put it on the counter or on a table to protect it from uh, a pot that's been on the stove or something that you just took out of the oven. But cast iron ones carry protective energies because iron is very protective. Uh, it is a little blind in its protection, so that is something to keep in mind. But trivets are really interesting and they're full of symbolism and folklore. You'll often find that they'll have hearts on them or birds. Hearts kind of bring protection and love. Birds bring creativity and freedom to your cooking and all of these spaces and so on and so forth. I think brooms are also a very common one. I don't believe I have any broom uh, trivets in my collection, but those bring more purifying protective energies and it's all very straightforward, but they are a fun thing to collect if you can get your hands on them. I have too many but I hang them up alongside my copper and I keep some extra ones in my drawers. They're really useful to have on hand just as kitchen gadgets, but they carry a lot of uh, rich folklore and uh, history with them, which I really enjoy. So those are three simple, but uh, I hope very accessible kind of hearthcraft home tips. I personally am really fond of just these funny little historical uses of magic and things that weren't always called magic. It's just what you did. And I found that by infusing that into your space, you can really create a very uh, hearty and happy and magical home. I love sharing these. If you want to see more, let me know. And let me know what you do in your home. I'm always looking for more tips and more things to try. and. Uh, I'd be really curious to hear from you. If you can and would like to, I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon. There I share art, herbal profiles, book recommendations, and I even do monthly workshops in the Juniper tier where I let you all pick a topic and I'll do a big live stream class on it that is available for two weeks after if you aren't able to get on it. It's looking like right now, this month, I'll be doing a deep dive into the Book of Shadows. So if you're interested in that, go on over to Patreon and yeah, it'll be up on the last Saturday of this month. Also, if you haven't checked out my other channel yet, I recommend you go check that out. There I share vlogs on my daily life, more of the magic, herbalism, all that fun stuff. And uh, it's just where I get to be a little bit more creative. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.